Hey everyone, this is Scott from the Forgot to Grow Podcast. Welcome to another edition of Rewatching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Today I'm going to be talking about Season 2, Episode 20, Scars. I'm just going to be starting off with the plot summary and then just talking about my general thoughts about this episode and some foreshadowing Easter egg uh, I noticed in this episode as well. So let's just get started with that plot summary which says, The S.H.I.E.L.D. board is grateful to Coulson after Fury uses Coulson's secret helicarrier to save the world. Uh, and they agree to merge their fractions with Coulson remaining as director and the board acting as his oversight and advisory council. Raina has a vision of an ancient Kree weapon designed to destroy the Inhumans, those who are altered by the Kree. Uh, Gordon takes her to search for it, finding in the cargo hold of Gonzalez's ship. Uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. discovers the intruders and uses Hydra's technology to track them when they teleport away, alerting the location of Afterlife. Agent 33 reveals Ward's true plan when she finds, when she helps him kidnap Bobby. Um, Gonzalez leads a delegation to Afterlife to meet with Sky's mom and index the community. Raina foresees if she meets with S.H.I.E.L.D. that it would, um, Sees, foresees war if she meets with S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, but it is assumed that Reyna is lying in order to seize power. When Shen Zing and uh, Gonzalez meet, she just delivers Cal to, into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s custody before killing Gonzalez and shooting herself to start a war with S.H.I.E.L.D. rather than letting her people be indexed. So that's the plot summary. I enjoyed this episode because I always enjoy the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episodes that connect in with the different um, Marvel MCU movies. This one connecting in right after Age of Ultron, the second Avengers movie. It's such a big, it's such a cool little tie in. We even learn a little secret about Age of Ultron, which is I've always been kind of curious about, which we learn that it takes place over the course of a week. Uh, because we, in the last episode, is when, you know, uh, Coulson delivers the plans to, or the location to the plans to Loki's scepter, and that's what kicks off Age of Ultron. And at this episode, we, um, at the beginning, Coulson says it's been a crazy week with the, you know, events, and we see a bunch of Sokovia references on the TV and the news, and I just really enjoy it. They reference Ultron a couple times throughout this episode, and I just love those things. And that's why I love, one of the big things I love about this show but I especially love these episodes is when they do those kind of big ties to the show to, or to the movies I'm sorry they explain things further with the show and diving in deeper to those background things like us knowing where Theta Protocol came from and how they got that helicarrier where Fury's helicarrier came from to save people all the way at the end at um Age of Ultron I just really enjoyed all those things and how they tied into this episode and how they you know they don't you know they kind of skip over the the event of the movie and they like you know they go before and after and i kind of like that because then the movie fits in between so it's just kind of fun chronologically in that sense uh but yeah some of the things i like about this is at the beginning when we see a little flashback to the helicarrier we see agent coning and he's got some star wars sheets which i always just really just always makes me smile when they put star wars stuff in marvel movies because you know they're all owned by disney so it's just a little fun little little easter eggs they like to throw in there and they were cool sheets. I want me a set of those. And the lanterns are awesome. Anyways, um, yes, uh, what else do I have written down? Oh, and Sky's mom was killing Gonzalez and then shooting herself. I always thought that was a little bit, like, I get it. She doesn't want her, like, uh, doesn't want her people indexed. And she kind of sees them along the same lines as Hydra and Hydra experimenting on her in that sense, too. So I get why she's, like, hesitant to it, but it seems a little extreme that she you know had to kill Gonzalez in order to get that but she could just been like no I don't I don't like your plan please go like I guess she's trying to like you know fool them being like oh he shot me that's why I defend myself but it's like did you have to defend yourself with a Terrigen crystal I don't know I think feel like that's why this you know her bruise doesn't stand up too much in the next episode but we can talk about that more in the next episode uh but yeah overall I enjoyed this episode us kind of you know Getting a lot of the, like learning a little bit more of the background on the Inhumans, getting a few little plot points set up for next season with the, you know, that artifact. I'm forgetting the name of what it is. It's the thing that teleports people places, right? And yeah, I'm just blanking on what they call it in this. Be sure to let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this episode. Be sure to let me know in the comments below anything that you liked or didn't like about this episode, any Easter eggs or foreshadowing I missed. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me today. Have a good one.